Hi you guys, uh, welcome. Uh, today it's going to be kind of a combination of kind of bringing together two ideas. Okay, uh, constructing parallel and perpendicular lines, uh, equilateral triangles are triangles that have 60 degrees inside all three angles, a polygon is just a shape that's enclosed, quadrilateral has four sides, a regular hexagon has six, and it's the regular is the new thing you probably haven't seen yet, uh, but the regular is just basically uh, all sides are the same measurement and all angles are the same measurement as well. Okay. Let's let me change the size of this. Okay, and the square, you guys know what a square is. Okay. Alright, so the uh, important thing, and I'm going to go to GeoGebra, and this is an app on uh, the uh, Google Chrome. Okay. Alright, and we're going to draw our actual shapes. So, uh, the first shape, uh, well, the first thing we're going to do is construct a line. So let's draw a line. So we're going to pick a point. And let's have it go right there. There we go. So point A, B. Okay, now as you can see, I can get the equation and stuff. I'm not going to have that. I don't want this stuff. Okay. All right, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line up from AB. Okay. And just have it be point C. All right. So that one's pretty simple. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to draw a circle. So you're going to pick point A. Select center point, then point on circle. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's go delete. There we go. Okay. So we are going to select center. And we're just going to draw this point. Okay. And let me go back to the instructions. And if you guys aren't looking at the book for this, it's going to make your job a whole lot harder. Okay. So you need to be able to look at the book and to be able to do this. Okay, so you pick a circle of the same diameter. Okay, and so the diameter of this circle, well, it's a conic, so I don't want that exactly. Okay, so the distance between those is just somewhere on there. Okay, so what we're going to do is construct the same circle. Okay, now this is just a rough drawing, so you guys will be able to get a much more exact drawing. Okay. First off, I'm going to get the point intersection. Okay. That's going to get my actual thing. All right, and then I actually draw the same thing. Okay, go to point of intersection. Okay, so you're going to get an intersection on the top and bottom. Okay, and you're going to keep the same compass. And you should get it right there. And when you construct the line, you're actually going to go through C and J. 
Okay, now mine's very rough. Okay, and technically these should be parallel, but it, this one isn't. But that's how you constru construct an actual, uh, well, not in this case, but that's how you usually would construct an actual parallel line. And as you can see, I'm a little bit off, but it's got the same, it's got the, it's got the gist of it. Okay, so if I go back to deleting everything, well, let's just go to new. Okay. Okay, so if I just set it up like this. All right, now, uh, if I did want to actually construct a line, Okay, it doesn't matter where I go. Now, if I wanted to do perpendicular, this is actually kind of cool. Now, you could do a lot of things on here. This is pretty cool. Okay, you can actually construct your own point and just work with it and stuff. So, GeoGebra, you can actually do this stuff, uh, do the constructions really easily and just be able to work through it. Okay, so perpendicular line. And then what you do is you just kind of highlight over it. So first off, I need to create a point. So let's create point C. And then I go back to my perpendicular line. So I select point, line parallel, boom, I actually have it. Okay, and the cool thing is GeoGebra actually gets you the linear equation, so you can actually work this stuff out. So that's kind of cool. Now if you'd like to manipulate it, you can manipulate this way and it just it works amazingly okay and you can mess around with it now also if you notice I can also construct a parallel line all I need to do is select the point and the line it's parallel to and then as long as I'm moving this around oops okay you can see that they're both going to work that way so that's kind of cool. Now if you're doing this with a compass, uh, you're going to have a little bit, you're going to have to draw some circles to actually get through it and just be able to do it and stuff. And a really great one that helps out is just drawing the actual, drawing this, okay, and drawing a pair or uh, Drawing a perpendicular is a lot easier this way, so what I do is I select my point, I want it to go through B, I select B, I want it to go through A, okay, and then I go up to my intersection, and I connect these two, and then I want a segment, eh, it doesn't matter, it, I got it, so I go boom right through there. Alright, and then this point right here, I would select the intersection, and I would definitely know that this line CD is per is perpendicular to AB, and just because of the fact that I can measure this and be able to get a right angle. Okay, so those are the two types of constructions you're going to be able to need to use, uh, but please understand you're just doing constructions during this time, and constructions are a lot of fun. Mess around with GeoGebra, it's a lot of fun to work with. Okay, thank you. Bye.